And we are live. Welcome back, everyone. I disconnected. <laughs> Don't we just put it on the tripod right away? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. It's too dangerous when you try to transition. Yep. Yeah. We'll get hung up on all sorts of bad stuff. Man, there's a lot of people that put their fingerprints on my desk. I'm gonna take samples of who this is and I'm gonna kill them. <laughs> Tim Schmidt's joined. What's up, Tim? What up, Tim? What up, Tim? All right, I got it wide right now so you can see some of the goodies. And uh... that's what she said. <laughs> there you go. See what I did there? Yeah. Doing. What's up, Snapchat? We are live on Wheel It Fit Facebook. Come out to Facebook Custom Offset to see their face. How they do? Did he actually get it? Nailed it. That was intense, bro. I feel like I should like get a nap or dinner or something for that. Nothing. Okay. Maybe next time. Maybe like We're live on Instagram. Woohoo! Just kidding. It's connecting. <laughs> Three, two, one. No power mode. Jesus, they're already hitting us with the uh, with the um, questions. Yeah. No time. All right, Sean. What are we doing? We are. Who am I talking to? Instagram. Instagram. Instagram we are live. Are we gonna stay live on Instagram, or they need to come out on Facebook? Come on Facebook. We'll okay. be live intermittently, but. We're, we'll be live intermittently if Junior can That's remember how word. to say that word later. <laughs> out on, but right now. But we'll also be out on Facebook for the next hour. We do Wheel It Fit Live, so you can stop out on Facebook, custom offsets on Facebook, and you can uh, put in the comments your year make, model, suspension, wheel, and tire setup that you're thinking about. And we'll go through the gallery and kind of show you how you would figure out. Well, that's not the gallery, Junior. Oh, that, that was is. live. There's the gallery. You can come out and uh, we'll go through the gallery and show you how we would figure out if that fits. And our goal isn't to do every single one of your vehicles for you one at a time, mainly to show you how to use the gallery so that you can use it yourself and get, get your own hookup. So that's the whole story. Facebook, come out. See? Live. Peace. What up, Mike? What's shaking? I don't think anything's shaking. We're not allowed to do that around here anymore. HR hey, had a talk with us about it. Did I click the wrong button just now? Sure did. Can't know. What's up, Jeremy? I'm gonna let some more people join us here, but um, we got some stuff for you guys. It seemed that you liked us giving away stuff so much that I just compiled some things. So I've got some... Uh, white spike valve stem covers. I've got some red spike valve stem covers, some polished spike valve stem covers, a couple of extra large cussoff.com shirts. I could show you those. You probably see us wearing them all the time. But I've got two blue cussoff.coms and two green cussoff.coms. And then I got some knife kits. If you guys were here last week, you saw these. I'll give away two of these bad boys. If you um, aren't in Wisconsin, I'm gonna have to remove the spring because that's against the law to ship you that. But we'll remove the spring and it will just be a manual knife. So it'll still work. And then it also has the Custom Offsets Tactical Flashlight, which is adjustable. It's pretty sick, I ain't gonna lie. We'll probably take down some bad guys with this stuff. So that's what we're doing. We're going to do it for the next hour, so we'll randomly give this stuff away. I asked Junior what we should do to give it away, and he didn't answer me. So if you guys have ideas of what we should do for the giveaway stuff, let us know. Um, I can tell you, one, the first person to post a picture of their custom offsets gear 
that they have at home in the comments, I am going to hook you up with a free shirt. Can you comment on the live video? You want to custom up this? Can you comment the photo? Uh, oh, you can't? I don't Lame. think so. You sure? I bet you can't. You can't. Oh man, there goes my first idea. Oh well. You guys are going to have to give us some ideas for the giveaways. We brought the free stuff. You guys bring the ideas. Yeah, I don't think you can do a photo book. So give us some ideas for the giveaways. We brought the Sup, Trey. Trey got two twenty four in COD Kells. Hell no, we don't want one back. Give one to one of your buddies. Put one on your sister's bunk bed. I don't know. No, put it on a vehicle so it's out there and about there. Bobby, if you come in and get a lift and some wheels and tires, hell yeah, I'm going to give you a free shirt. Make it here while it's still cold, I'll give you a free hoodie. What's up, Tanner there? I haven't sent any ideas for how to give away stuff yet. Ryan just said he wants one. I don't think that's going to be the contest. Mike says he can't do a photo. Yeah, that's a bummer. We thought we had a sweet idea and then it all fell apart. But I'll stack this stuff up here so you can see it. Banker made it. You're right on time, bro. It's like the new you. Crushed it. Give, give away all Ooh, this that's stuff. That's a good call. Somebody yeah. pizza, I'll give you a free hoodie. Whoever can bring us pizza will give you a hoodie. In the next 20 minutes. <laughs> In the next 20 minutes. Can't show up tomorrow. Tucker just joins. Maybe he'll bring us pizza for a free hoodie. Tucker, I want you Little Caesars. <laughs> two little Caesars, Tucker. That's word on the street. Yes. It's 6 o'clock, Bank. Are you ready to roll? You guys, if you got any general questions or anything like that, you could hit us with those right now. Uh, Banker's just getting situated. He's been bu building diesels all week, so he's wore out. Turned our shop into a diesel factory. Hey Jake, no problem man. We've been having a blast with the whole active duty and veteran um, contest. Uh, one of the things we decided is we're gonna send a t-shirt to every single one of them and a decal that submitted a video. Junior, did you ever write that down? I know we talked about it. What? Everybody that submitted a video? Oh yeah, we all get t-shirts. Okay, you already on that? Yeah. Get their shirt size and stuff? Yeah. Cool. Banker's just getting set up. I'm still waiting for you guys to tell me how to give this stuff away. We were supposed to come up with an idea today and we just ran out of time. We had a crazy day today. I feel like this monitor could be flipped down. Close banker. Yeah, I'm not. I can only go back so far in the comments. Yeah, comments are really weird for me. They're not showing they anything show new. As soon as you have been on a lot, so you can't see previous comments. So if I don't get to some of these questions, I'm sorry because I didn't see it. 
So what Banker's saying is he just logged in to live, and if you're not on from the beginning, you can't see previous comments. So if you guys asked a fitment question, go ahead and copy and paste it and repost it again right now, and then he'll be able to see it. So let's get rocking. Let's do the first one. Fifteen hundred. Okay. Level. So I chose Chevy, Silverado fifteen hundred leveling kit. Uh, ten wires. So I've got a wheel with. Remember, we don't really ever do wheel size because if it's a twenty and eighteen, a twenty-two or a seventeen, it doesn't matter. It's all about the width of the wheel and the tire size. What size tires? 295, 70, 17. So you're gonna need your calculators to figure out. I'll try 295s, but yeah, so. He's asking a metric size and there aren't a ton of people running the metric tires. So I'll slow down here. So if you're on the homepage of custom offsets, You'd go to calculators, and then down towards the bottom, there's one for 295, 70, 17. Mm -hmm. Have a good night, Adam. See you later. So that's a 33.3 .3 by 11.6, so basically a 33. There's some running. Yeah, we're just going to go with 33s. It's going to make our life so much easier. Okay, and it was an 01. So for an 01, I'll sort by old. Yep, and then I'll be able to come up on the 01s right away. And what's the question? Wheel it fit. I like, I, I like what you did there. I get it. So here's an 01, he's running the uh, 20 by 10, negative 24, and then he's running a 33, 12 and a half. Slight rub at full turn, minor plastic trimming. So he would say, yes, it fits, do a little plastic trimming. Here's another 01, 10 wide, negative 24, 33, 12 and a half, rubs like crazy, but who cares, but he didn't do any trimming. Here's another 01, 17 by 10, negative 24, and a lot of these guys are negative 24, so that's the most aggressive 10 wide. And then 33, 12 and a halfs. Slight rub at full turn, major plastic trimming. You can see took off the valence, the corner of it. Oh, he's got fender flares. So I'd imagine that's what he also had to trim. Here's another one, 20 by 10, negative 24, 33, 12 and a halfs. And he didn't tell us about his trimming. 02, 10 wide, negative 19, 33, 12 and a half. Leveling kit, slight rub, full turn, minor plastic trimming. So, out of like five of them, oh, that one's got a bumper. So this guy's got an aftermarket bumper, so trimming on that one's not gonna help you any. Unless if you go the same route. Let me just go backwards a little bit. Here's a 2000, 10 wide, negative 12s, 33, 12 and a half minor plastic trimming. So it sounds like it's gonna work all day. You just need to do a little bit of plastic trimming and you're gonna be fine. Probably the valence and the inner liners. Let's go back. I just wanna check back, see if there are any pictures of the trimming. Sometimes people show you, you can see all of them have the corner of the valence trimmed off or the lower air dam, whatever you want to call it. Okay. 
Yeah, a lot of people just loaded one photo, so it's going to be down here and probably the back of the inner liner if you don't want it to rub. That helped Matt out. See Daryl's truck made it. Did Daryl make it? <laughs> well, we wait to see what Matt's doing. Let's see what the hell's going on here. So are these those new Fender pocket flare lights? What? Yep. I don't know about that. Teach their own, but <laughs> Daryl's here. What's up, Daryl? Did Matt answer yet? Jared, can you see it? Yeah, let's do another one. I'll just open up a new in case it comes back. Sean has an 11 F-150. What's up, Sean? I like your name. So I chose Ford, F-150, Level. leveling kit. Uh, Twelve wides and thirty trees. Twelve wides, thirty trees. This will fit all day. So we'll just go down. I'm just going to scroll down to that generation, and you're going to see that there's billions of them. Minor metal trimming. I believe it's the back of the front fender, isn't it? Or is it a little bit of bumper too? I'll keep investigating. 10 equals 11, yeah. So 12 wides, 33s, no revenue scrubbing, minor plastic trimming. So one did a little metal trimming, the other one did some plastic. Oh boy, I'm scrolling faster than the site is loading and that's why it's jumping all over in case you guys are wondering. I need to calm down a little bit. 12 wides, 33s, leveling kit. This guy didn't tell us about trimming. So my initial answer is hell yeah, you can do it. Everybody else did. Slight rubber full turn minor plastic trimming. So it seems like most people are getting away with trimming the bottom of that valence. Maybe a little bit back here, where that fender liner is, and that um, fender flare. This one's got the perfect fit icon, so what that basically, what we tried to do with that, is that'll tell you when you've got one that's pretty much pushing the limits, but it fits good. Slight rut, full turn, minor plastic trimming. So, final answer is rock it all day, do a little bit of plastic trimming, and you're gonna be ready to rock and roll. Bless you. Did that help, Sean? Can somebody hook Fuller up with a set of headphones or something? I don't think he heard you. I think he has headphones in. He can't because they can hear all there? this stuff. Oh. <laughs> you guys, good. Sean said thanks for the info. <laughs> hey, no problem, man. Did Matt ever come back or are we going to let him go? Yeah, Matt never came back. Sorry, Matt. Um, you gone. Gonna... He gone. I'm going to jump around a little bit here. Mm -hmm. Jump around? Jump around. Jump, yeah. jump, jump around. Uh, Joe is wondering if we ship to Canada. 
We ship to Canada, yes. All you have to do is go out and find what you want. And let's say that you're looking for wheels. So I'll search by wheels. I'll find some 20 by 14s because that's what all the kids are doing. You'll find your wheels. And then if you simply, or build out your whole package, if you simply scroll down here, there's a form. If you fill this out, there is a question area and you simply ask what the shipping rate would be to your location. By doing that, it's gonna send us this link and we'll know exactly what you're trying to ship and it'll save a bunch of emails back and forth. So this is the best way to do it. Find the item you want and then ask the question. Now, if you're asking about like wheel spacers, you would go on here. Where are we going? Alaska? Canada. Canada? And Canada's right on here. So for some of the products, it's right on there. If not, you should either see that form or let's say you just want to get some spike lug nuts shipped to Canada. I don't think we have it on there. Oh yeah, we do. Man, we are convenient. Just saying, Junior. Let's say it's a lift kit. I think that one you would have to. So if you want to do one of our lift kits, you'd go find the one you want, click on it, options and pricing it only says the US and you'll notice there is no form but what you can do is just ask the question down here or the faster way would be to just email info at customoffsets.com for anything that's not wheels and tires and we can get you a quote we pretty much ship everywhere where did we ship that last one Australia I think we shipped in Australia yesterday a full lift kit so we ain't scared I'm thinking of a number one to ten. Whoever can guess the number first gets a set of spiked valve stem covers. Junior, you have to watch out who's first because you screwed it up last week. Did you know that? I did. Yeah. No, I didn't. Yep. Why? Danny Peters never even guessed the right number. It was clear as day that a totally different person guessed it. You two were in coercion. Guessed it first? Didn't he never guessed it? I went through all the comments. You totally looked at the guy below him and gave him that number. So I I hooked both of them up. Are you sure? Yep. Okay. Sent me a screenshot. I even looked seven. at myself. Oh, I didn't pick a number yet. <laughs> <laughs> I had seven. Guessing. Seven it is. Seven one. Who was it? Uh, was that the first guess? That was the first guess. So, who is it? Josue Salas? What? Oh, there was more that didn't show up. Mike Perry was first. Mike? Was seven. Mike, tell us which color you want. You got white, red, or polished? If you don't answer in four seconds, it goes to the next person. No. <laughs> yeah. White, red, or polished. Let us know what color you want, Mike. <laughs> I forgot to think of a number. <laughs> but that's first. Hell yeah, he said. And we're going to send you a free uh, sticker, too. Did he say what color he wants? Not yet. Can polished. You, polished. Can you be in charge of... This needs to go to Mike, then. I'll Tell him to you. email TV at custom offsets. No. Oh yeah, because we need his address. Yeah, and then nothing. But you still need that. his name on here, so when he emails, you know who to give it to, what he ordered, well, or I what he wants. Don't write on the sticker because it'll imprint in the. Be custom, you know what I'm man. saying? It would be super Extra custom. custom. It'd have his own signature on it. All right, Mike. TV Good job, Mike. At custom you guessed the number that I forgot to think of. Um, let's do another one, Benka. I lost everything. <laughs> what do you mean? Okay. Junior? You want to tell me the next one? Sure. We got lots of numbers. We have 87 computers here. You should maybe use one. They're way more reliable than phones. Okay. Use that guy. He doesn't know how to use it. You ready for this? <laughs> He's watching right now. That's my favorite part. Mm -hmm. 2000. This is Chris Davis. What's up, Chris? 2003 Avalanche. Oh, I like where you're going with this. You can't get any of the old ones either, can you? Leveled. I got a lot of them. Uh, and then 305 50s. Will it fit? With 10 wides. 10 wides. 30550? Yep. Yep. I don't care. But I'll show you. So I chose Chevy Avalanche 1500 leveling kit. 
10 wides, 305s, and 02 is an 03. Negative 12 offset, slate rubber full turn, major plastic trimming, but he's also running two inch spacers and he's still got it to fit. Oh, and those were 30555s, so those are even taller. So what I'm seeing is there are no 30550s, but I'm pretty sure there's people running them. I'm gonna choose just Avalanche rather than Avalanche 1500. Nope, oh, that didn't help me any. So a 30550, let's go back to our calculator. I know the answer, but I'm just gonna plug it in. This is one of the ones I work with a lot. Those were 20 by 10s, you said? Gotta be. So 32 by 12. He just said 10 wide. Okay. 32 by 12. So if I find people running 33s with that setup, I know I'm good to go. I'll try 32s first. Yeah, that's a hot mess. I'm not even going there. 33s. And then we'll go down to the 03s. And he's got minor plastic trimming on 33, 12 and a half, 20 by 10s, and a leveling kit. So he did it. And here's another one with 10 wide 33s. Major plastic trimming. So where that one's going to hit, because we happen to have one of these guys. Uh, that's the rear wheel. I want the front wheel. Come on. Okay. It'll hit right back here. So underneath inside of there, and you should be able to trim it without people seeing that you really got in there. And then up underneath here, you'll trim it right back to that metal brace that you can barely see poking out right there. So you trim the bottom of this, and then you trim back here. And it's actually a pretty perfect setup. It's a little oversized, but it's worth it for the little bit of plastic trimming you do with a Dremel or like a four inch grinder or something. Did that help? Give us a holla and let us know that you're good to go. Check out one more. 10 wide, negative 19. Slight rub, full turn, minor plastic trimming. <clears throat> so everybody's saying the same thing. You should be good to go. Hey, K-Dog. Yeah. Will you hit the heat button sure. so we don't freeze out? Thank you, sir. Yeah, it did, guys. Thanks a lot, he said. Hey, no problemo. Did you just that little circle button? Yeah. There you go. Let's see if I can find another one. Okay, well, let's do a history question for one of the shirts. Where did custom offsets start? Where did custom offsets start? Where was our first office, per se? And here's the shirt. Wow. It's cussoff.com. It's sweet. They're saying Wisconsin. Oh, no, I want specifics. Where specifically did it start? Appleton, Wisconsin. More specific. <laughs> You're getting much closer. Eric Heim said Sean's Garage. Eric Heim, what's up, boy? That should be my buddy from college. I haven't seen him in like 15 years, if it's the same Eric Heim. Or if it's not, that really got awkward. Sorry about that, <laughs> yeah, but you want to appreciate it. said hi, Sean, about 10 minutes ago. Huh? You said hi, Sean, about 10 minutes ago. Well, I tell him what my name is. It's not a dead giveaway. It's got it on his shirt, bro. It's even on my shirt. Oh, last name. <laughs> so you want an extra large cuss off shirt, make sure you email us at ship at customoffsets.com and TV. say, no, ship. Just write the ship? Yeah, I'll write the ship. Okay. We, we cut out the middleman here. So that one's Eric Heim. Yep. So email us at ship at customoffsets.com and put in there that you won the free cuss off shirt. We'll have it here ready for you and let us know your address to ship it to. Also tell us your size. If we do have your size, we'll end up shipping that instead. If we don't, we're sending us this extra large. You need to hook up one of your friends that fits into that shirt. That's just how it's gonna go. Yeah, Custom Offset started off in my garage. I was all by myself one day. And then my wife came out and she started shipping stickers and shirts. And then my cousin came over and he never went home. And now there are 20 of us in this building and about 70 in the Chicago location. What? So it's bigger than my garage now. It's way more fun too. Got Ship cold there. I didn't even have heat. We had to get our first uh, shot because we were freezing to death. 
But now we're in this one, and for some reason the heat's not on here either. <laughs> we have a bigger cold building. You got another one for me? Bank, are you back online? Yeah, I remember the last one. K3500. You always pick the really, really goofy ones just to mess with me. Keep going. We saved uh, these for a junior. <laughs> he's got a six inch extension for his body. You want to know how big he can go. So six inch plus three inch. So if you guys scroll through the lift options or the suspension options, if you keep going, you'll see there is a six inch and three inch body. So, I mean, let's get rid of 3,500. Let's just see if we have Chevys. So there's no K3500s, that's not an option. And we know that the K3500s are old, so we'll go year by old. What year did you say, 2000? So yeah, it's an OBS? It's a square body. Or OBS, sorry. Oh, Cardinal Sin. So here's a whole bunch of them, K1500s. So the K1500s are fitting 14 wides and 40s. That should uh, meet any needs you need. No scrubbing, minor plastic trimming. Uh, so that's my answer. If he did 14 wides and 40 by 15 and a half, so you can do anything you want. 44s might be tight. But this guy's got 10 wides and 38s, slight rub, full turn, minor plastic trimming. Those OBSs have room for days. We've seen some huge stuff fit on those. The Blazer, 37s, no rubbing, no scrubbing, no trimming. It would help if we knew what he wanted to run, but I would say whatever you want. You think that's funny, hey, dog? You should get an OBS, bro. You run whatever you want, too. Or is he listening to funny jokes on his headphones? Just laughing when he out edits loud? a really cool picture, he laughs to himself about it. Really? Yeah. That's creepy. <laughs> so you probably can't even hear us right now? Nope. That's awesome. Okay, I'm into the newer body stuff. My final answer is run whatever you want. It'll all fit. Because you're on nine inches. Where's my buddy Chris's truck? We can look at that one. Where the hell did it go? There it is. So he's 14 wides and 37, 13 and a half. No trimming. And he put those on in a driveway in the middle of the Northwoods. So I know that there isn't trimming. Oh yeah, we were all there watching him. <laughs> yeah, you were there drinking beer, Junior. Oh wait, no, you're not of age. Junior drinks beer and he's only 19, just saying. It's true. It's true, Junior. Can't prove it. I can, though. I have videos. <laughs> <laughs> well, whatever, Junior. You can lie to the cops, you can't lie to me. Good? Oh yeah, you don't even know who answered, asked the question, so how would you know if he's happy? I bet you he's happy. He can run whatever he wants. I mean, what else would you want to hear? <laughs> here to hear first. Do what you want. Look up. There's Cody. Cody snuck his truck in there pulling Daryl's trick. He keeps asking questions, too. Cody stance, Wayne. Yeah, buddy. What's he want to know? What do you want, Cody? You know what his first question was? When's the damn Minion video going to be done? <laughs> oh, there's another week out. Yep. Another week. Every time you ask, Cody, it's another week out, bro. Sorry about your stance video. See what I did? I did see what you did there. Let's give something away. Okay. How many gallery entries do we have? How many vehicles are currently in the Custom Offsets gallery? You are going to win another shirt, the bright green one. <laughs> no. It's that easy, Junior. <laughs> How many vehicles are in the gallery? Junior's like, do you want to? Nope. I'm going to keep it that easy. So there it is. Is it my chance for him to 632? 
No. <laughs> nope. <laughs> pizza man. <laughs> he showed up with pizza. You owe big time. Here's your shirt. <laughs> well done. <laughs> well done. That guy's a that guy's good. That guy's really good. Was he already coming with pizza? Did you just con me out of a shirt? No. Okay. Did so that really me and asked me how many pizzas. That really just <laughs> happened. Tucker just showed up with pizza in case you guys are wondering what happened. We challenged him and he uh, accepted the challenge. Do you need some do you need some spike valve stem covers too? I got this piece. No, I got it set. Okay. Tucker already bought everything we sell, so it's gonna be hard to give him stuff. Do you have a knife kit? No. You don't? Well, here you go, mister. No. 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 We're not gonna wait for Lots of numbers. Yeah, it was scrolled up. That. Uh, okay, we'll go back here. First one to guess it correctly was Kyle Lave at 14,709. Good job, Kyle. For those that guessed it wrong, it is right here on the screen in front of you. So spend more time on the website. That's a lesson learned. So that's Kyle? Yep. Kyle, you won the green, extra large, cuss off. Make sure you email us at ship at customoffsets.com with your full name and shipping address and let us know you won the cuss off uh, shirt. And we will get it shipped. Junior, you're gonna have to take a turn up here after you have a piece of pizza, because then I need a piece. That's how you can take a turn this time. That's how this works. I don't think Banker's willing to sit in the hot seat. Got another one, Banker? What's that? And all of these guys need to get decals. So I'm gonna just put those over there. I ran right out of my shoe, Junior. How many people do we have live right now? 52. Yeah. 52. You guys all have to go share this live video. If we get up to 100, I will give away a shine kit. Ooh. I'll give away a wheel shine kit, $69 shine kit. You have to get us up to 100 live views. So I don't care if you message your friends, your sisters, your aunts. You have 29 minutes to get us to 100 live and we will give away a shine kit. And how we're gonna give it away is we're going to, we'll just pick a number, one to 100, and whoever guesses it's gonna win the shine kit. So you just have to go tell everybody to get their butts out here and then we will give it away on a flat out. One to 100, I will write the number on my hand this time so you know that I didn't cheat and make it up after you told me. <laughs> Cause that was kind of cheating. Let me write it on a post-it instead. There you go. I don't want numbers in my hand. My wife will yell at me. Thinks I'm getting digits. <laughs> One. I fell over before I got the rest of her phone number. <laughs> <laughs> you got one, banker? Yeah, it's a non-fit thing. So, six-fit thing. Jeremy. That'll happen on Wheelie Fit Live. <laughs> Jeremy has a 16 Ram 2500 two-wheel drive. Can't find a look at it. Do we have one? So let's see. You said it's a 16? Yep. Dodge. So I just went to products. I need to explain what I'm doing. Suspension lifts. And for, you, for those of you that don't know, we now have BDS Fabtech Rough Country Zone. We may be adding some more, but right now we're pretty happy with that lineup. So it's a 16 Ram. So part of the problem is if you're choosing Dodge like I did the first time, that can goof it up, but I think we have it so it pulls all of them. 1500 two wheel drive, you said? So it shows rear wheel drive. How much of a lift? 
Banker? Did you say six inch? Lift kit? Well, here you go. So I found five of them. You'll see at this number always changes by how many you found. So I've got a six inch BDS for you. I've got a one and a half inch body lift, a four inch BDS, a four inch BDS air ride suspension, and a six inch coilover. So it looks like BDS is gonna be the answer. Um, yeah, it's all rear wheel drive. Oh, it says four wheel drive right on it. So we have a glitch. Let's to talk to, <clears throat> yeah, that's four wheel drive. So this is, it's just not picking it up. So the body lift will work. Although we're not huge fans. Yeah, those are all four wheel drive. Do you know of any? Let me try 2000 and first let me try Dodge just in case that's another glitch. Ram 1500. No. Huh? 2500. Oh, it's a 2500? Okay, so I'm going to completely start over because this has not gone well so far. 2016. Ram. All I can smell is pizza. My brain just completely <laughs> shut off. 2500. No. I don't think anybody's going to make that. Do you think anybody's going to make that? Yeah, I'm not going to eat on TV. I'm going to switch out with you or Junior. Shortly here. Um, I don't think they're gonna make one, do you, banker? Depending on how big you want to go, I know there's a couple of guys on here that just answered this question for me. So check the comments. Banker set set me up on that one. I don't think. Uh, well, I wasn't sure if we could could send an email to Mr. Brad. Yeah, we could try that. We can give it our best. So if you email us at info at customoffsets.com and ask that question, we can get it over to Brad. He's our lift specialist, and he can dig around and see if we can come up with something. We have access to a bunch of lift kits that we don't list on the site just because it's a huge effort to get them on the site, and they're not as popular like a uh, Ram 2500 two-wheel drive lift. But um, it doesn't mean we don't have one, so we should be able to find one for you. What? You mentioned putting Junior up there and they're, they're turning. They don't want no Junior? No. They'd rather See? watch me eat pizza than have Junior. Junior, you shouldn't have put him to sleep last week. <laughs> they put you behind the camera for life now. Yeah, good. <laughs> yeah. That'll teach you. Banker's like, how do I do that? <laughs> <laughs> Daryl bumped his truck in front of Cody. He says, <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome. Daryl is the king of the hill. Don't mess with him, Cody. That's his spot. <laughs> you got another one? I'm gonna go sneak one bite of pizza while Banker finds another one. Junior, go up there and give something away. That's something you can handle. I'm not good at that either. I got pizza though. I don't want to eat pizza. Set it down for a second. Show him that awesome mop on your head. I don't know what to give away. Give away a knife, then you'll be cool. Give away a knife. Got a nice cool uh, tactical flashlight here for you, and a knife. But there'll be no spring in it if you're outside Wisconsin. Um, the activity we're gonna do to win this custom offsets tactical kit is This is a hard one. How do you think of these on the spot? Um, wow. You're blowing it, Junior. I know I am. How am I supposed to give this away? Tell them to guess what kind of truck you drive. Oh, there you go. Guess what kind of truck I drive. Make and model. I don't even know. I don't know what they're saying. Need make and model. You guys are all guessing just make. You got to get the model too. Yep, make and model. 
Ryan Davis, GMC Sierra. There you go. Ryan Davis, you win. Tactical kit. So make sure you email ship and a sticker. And a sticker. So you gotta email ship at customoffsets.com and we'll get you hooked up. Now back to you, Sean. <laughs> back to you, Rod. Ryan Davis. Got another one, Banker? Come on, you guys, get it up to 100 viewers so that we can get away, give away this uh, shine kit. I definitely want to do that. Oh, I like that. If there was a tire, we screwed it up, give them both one. They're both getting one? Yep. Austin, Case, and Ryan Davis? Sounds like it. Yeah, there's a bunch of people saying, but I'm not getting any of their comments. Yeah, you guys got to remember that it's Facebook Live and Suckle Duckleburger doesn't have this thing completely perfect. So, whichever one we see first is going to be who wins it. And we're not going to go back and forth, or I'll put all this stuff back in my secret stash area and I won't give any of it away because I'll have a fit about it. But let's keep the contest fun and not bicker about who the hell won. Otherwise, I'm giving all this stuff to Tucker and he'll have to put more stuff on his truck. You can buy us more pizza. You can buy us more pizza. We'll only have the pizza contest. <laughs> you got one, Banker? Yeah, Sean Harris wants to see more Toyota Tundras. Here you go, Sean. I go down to Toyota, and I go Tundra, and boom, 261 of them. Tundras for days, bro. Tundras for days. Look at, still going. Still going. Let me know when you've seen enough tundras, Sean. Still going, bro. But on a serious note, we are uh, doing a build on one, so you're gonna get a lifts and levels video. You're gonna get a spotlight video. You're probably gonna get a trimming video. No, yes. We're gonna have to trim the cab mount. 10 wides and 35s, 33s. Yeah, we'll get into that cab mount, I bet. At least hit it with a big hammer. So we'll do a video on that one in the next week or two. That'll be a four inch Fabtech on a Toyota Tundra. It's a 16, 15, 2015. And we're gonna wipe the whole thing out. So it's gonna be insane. Some fuel assaults, super excited about it. It's gonna be awesome. Probably gonna try to have to convince myself not to buy it. Two thousand what? Two thousand ten and newer. So ever since it's called the Ram. Yeah, Ram fifteen hundreds. They want to see ten. They want to see twelve wides and thirty threes. A whole bunch of people. So this is a shout out to all the people out there that want to see Ram fifteen hundreds with twelve wides and thirty threes. You guys should be able to just go on the site, and uh, I sort by oldest since you're asking for the ten and newer. And then I'll just start scrolling down until I hit the tens. And here they are. I mean, there's a pile of them. So all of these people have done it. You can absolutely do it. And then if you click on them, you can go down here to the trimming. No rubbing, no scrubbing, no trimming. And 12 wides, 33, 12 and a half. Leveling kit, minor plastic trimming. 2012 Ram 1500, 12 wides, 33s, no rubbing, no scrubbing, no trimming. So it sounds like if you want to be able to drive it a little bit more aggressively, you should do a little bit of trimming. But if you don't mind a tiny bit of rubbing, you wouldn't have to. No rubbing, no scrubbing, no trimming. That one had a body lift though, so that's kind of a cheater. And this has got, again, if you watch for that perfect fit icon, and I saw it because it's right there. It's that little trophy. We're gonna come up with a better image now that we have people that don't make their images in PowerPoint. But um, 
a perfect fit means it's got a leveling kit, no rubber, no scrubbing, no trimming. So 12 wides and 33s are the perfect fit for your Ram 1500 four-wheel drives. If you get in a two-wheel drive, it's a different story. You're going to have to do some trimming. But for the four-wheel drive, for all of you, you should definitely do it. It is a perfect fit and it looks amazing. Do it. Do it. Do it. 17 minutes. Did we get to 100 yet? 63. Okay, you guys aren't trying hard enough. I guess we'll try next week for that wheel shine kit because you're running out of time. I've got another set of um, spike valve stem covers. Let's... Who can guess what's happening with the Hummer right now? Yeah. So it's... No, because they wouldn't know that unless they're on my personal page. So I gotta guess. That's a total guess? That makes it hard. No, <laughs> Junior. So... Guess what we have in lunch today. <laughs> that, is, that is so weird. <laughs> if it was Tuesday, I would play that game because then Dago Tuesday makes sense, but... Now you're just me we had tacos. <laughs> oh, I ruined your dumb game. <laughs> Why don't we do... Um, Let's guess how many vehicles are being loaded to the gallery every month right now. So mm -hmm. if you guess that one, I'm going to do the shirt, the valve stem covers, and the sticker. So this is going to be a big one. So how many vehicles are loaded to the custom offsets gallery, so to this gallery, every 30 days, every month? By the how way, many vehicles? Trey actually guessed what's happening to the Hummer right now. Well, yeah, he probably knows, has my yeah, on Facebook. Oh. I just posted it 25 minutes ago. There you go. <laughs> uh, we got guesses at 122, 200, 250, higher, 350. Higher, higher, higher. 100. Higher. Lower than 1,350. Lower than 1,350. 25. Higher than 25. 1,200. Lower than 1,200. 10K. Yeah, lower than 10,000. Lower than 1175. Lower than 1175. 260. Higher than 260. 750. Oh, slightly higher than 750. 845. Lower than 845. We're between 750 and 845. 780, No, that's it. 780 crushed it. Mike won again, and we don't have any rules against that, Mike. Here's the question. Do you want another set of spike valve stem covers? I'm sure you have other people in your family who love them. And do you want red or white? So you want to put that by Mike's stack? Mike, you're getting two stickers also, so hopefully you have friends. You're really good at Jeopardy. Or whatever this game is we're playing. Did he say red or white yet? No, hold on. I'm not good with patience, banker. Hold on, no, you're done. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's over. <laughs> There's a 30 second delay if you guys are wondering why it seems like. White, white, white. white. coming at you, Junior. Right in the face. No, it wasn't. caught that. You put the name on us. What? You put a post on the name. We are, but he's got a whole stack. He's in the horror. Okay, you guys. So we got some big news. We found out yesterday that we are going to be giving away four more sets of wheels. So we haven't locked in all the details. I can tell you that they're extremely popular wheels. I can tell you that one set of them may be a set of forged wheels. And we're going to do all of that very soon. I heard some of the samples are on their way here to show you guys. Here's the game. I want you guys to throw some ideas at us for how to give those away. So I'm going to take 10 minutes of ideas. Can you tell That's the, people, how, the people that won, who do they email? Oh, if you won something tonight, you need to email ship at customoffsets.com. Fuller, can you type that in? Or banker. So type in, if you won tonight, email ship at customoffsets.com, and they, we need your um, full mailing address, what you won, and your name. We have it written here too, so don't try to trick us and tell us you won forces. But and if you do try to trick, yeah, we're going to throw away your t-shirt. <laughs> Oh, up to 87. You guys are still going to give away a wheel shine kit. I love it. So what we're going to do is we're going to give away four sets of wheels very soon. And it's literally, I think we're going to maybe do a set of wheels a week if we can come up with the right contest. 
I want to take five minutes. Let's do five minutes of your ideas of what's the best way to give away wheels. Now, here's what you have to remember. If we're going to give away a set of wheels, we want the world to know about it. So your idea should be kind of how can we make sure the whole world knows we're giving away a set of wheels and then hook somebody up with a set of wheels. And we're going to give away four sets. So those of you guys that follow us a lot know that we've already given away like four or five sets of wheels. This has kind of been our thing. Um, rather than getting promotional wheels and stuff for ourselves or hooking up our buddies and all that kind of stuff, we are just giving away everything we get our hands on. And Colby that's why has we're doing the idea. It. His idea was for the wheel giveaway, do something where if you buy $5 or more from the website, you could be entered into the competition. Kobe, that is a killer idea. That's actually one that was getting kicked around today. Um, so the trouble with that will become how do we know, how do we randomly choose them unless if we were to throw every name in a hat, which would be difficult. And the other thing with that is then we're doing it off of purchase. So that's cool. We sell some stuff, but then nobody knows about the contest. So we'll keep that one in our back pocket, but we're looking for more ideas. We, we came up with that one. Video, people are saying, a lot of people are saying the video videos. Videos. Did, I think people had fun when we did the videos. The problem with that was the light contest was a problem, but maybe we could use the videos and think of a better way to decide who wins. You know what, we could post all the videos up on the website and use our own light counter. Mm -hmm. rather than having Facebook do it because Suckle Buckle Burger messed that all up last time because none of the freaking videos worked. So you guys could submit videos via email. We could load them to our website and let them vote on our website on a designated video page. I like that a lot. So it'd be a lot like the t-shirt contest right now. Yeah. But they'll sign up and you'll see them there and you'll see their video and then you like it if you want them to win. No, we don't want to do anything illegal. We we want to do illegal stuff, but we don't want you to do illegal stuff. So most desperately needed. Most desperately needed. That'd be part of the video. Let's see a tear. <laughs> <laughs> I like the video idea. Who had the video idea? A lot of people did. A lot of people can't win, Junior. Uh, if you had the video idea, um, send us an email at ship at customoffsets dot com and say I want a free twenty four inch decal with your shipping information and you're all getting a free decal. If you had the video idea, we're gonna come back and check. And if you lied, we're gonna ban you from everything we ever do in the future and take away your birthday. Shane? Shane. Yeah, Shane. So Shane, you're gonna get the spike valve stems and a sticker. Everybody else is getting a sticker. You're getting red ones. Hopefully that's your favorite color. So Shane, make sure you shoot us an email, ship at customoffsets.com. And that pretty much gives away everything except for all the wheels which we will get to work on. Hopefully you guys know that we also have the Scorpion wheel giveaway going. If you haven't checked that out, basically here's the rundown. You come out to the custom offset site. I should move slower. You go down here to our sexy group of uh, delinquents. You come on here and you can see that we're selling t-shirts. It's a battle. So Zane is up. He sold the most shirts so far, 63. And Jesse's trailing him with 52. Everybody else seems to have given up. But what you can do is come out and you sign up as a contestant, fill in the information, and then you tell people to come out and buy a shirt. And when they do, they'll choose your name from the who sent you. And then you'll get a point for every single shirt that's sold under your name. Whoever sells the most shirts is going to win a free set of Scorpion wheels, any size, any finish of what's in stock. Then what will happen is He's gonna review the videos and we'll compile all the videos. Hopefully you've been seeing them out on Facebook of active duty and vets for our US military. And he will pick of those videos who else is gonna win a set of wheels. So we're definitely hooking up an active duty or vet with a set of wheels and it'll be chosen by one of these two guys or somebody else that jumps into this contest and starts kicking ass. When the, You'll know it's gonna end because we're gonna give you a heads up. So if you were live with us yesterday, you saw we still have a pretty good stack of these shirts. We bought a lot of them because we knew they were gonna be pretty popular and we've been selling a pile of them. As soon as we start to get low, we're gonna let you know the contest is about to end. And then once we run out of one of the sizes, whoever is winning when we run out of the first size is gonna end up winning. So we'll probably go live and show you the final shipment and show you who won that. So that's how we're gonna decide who wins this contest. So whoever sells the most shirts is just gonna win. <clears throat> So hopefully you already know about that and you know that we're giving away wheels and giving away wheels and giving away wheels 
And Cody is back in the lead as being the top photo. <laughs> you guys cracked me up. Um, that's all I have to say about that. We have about seven minutes. We could a lot of free wheels. Take some more. Yeah, basically we're giving away a lot of free wheels. People are still asking where to email. Ship at customoffsets.com. With a P, not a T. Ship. Ship, not shit. Ship. S H I P. Facebook's going to bleep that at out. At customoffsets.com. Yeah, Facebook's going to ban me again for saying <laughs> the S word. They've been up our butts this week about shit I never knew. We'll just call it shoot I never knew. We got them. So that's the plan. That's everything I know about that. Let me know if you guys have any more questions. Let me know if you have other ideas. Keep commenting. We will keep looking at the comments for ideas to give these wheels away. Like I said, you know, some of the creative stuff we've seen out there was when people did the, I'll get so many likes and so many comments and so many shares, and then will you hook me up with a set of wheels? So that's already over, but I'm looking for the next person to come up with that sweet ass idea. Cause somebody just brainstormed that idea. You got a good one? Are you just- Yeah, that'd be fun. So for the video contest, bit, yeah. we could have a theme for each video contest. Who came up with that idea? That was Kevin Lois. Kevin Lois? Hook up Kevin Lois with a sticker and a t-shirt too. You want to grab a cuss off shirt and hook up Kevin yep. Lois? That's a great idea, Kevin. So we're going to send you a cuss off t-shirt and a sticker and um, probably steal your idea. So it sounds like for each wheel, We'll have a video contest where you'll submit your videos via email. We'll upload them to our website, let people vote on the website, but they will be theme driven. So one time it will be making fun of us and doing your best impressions of us here at Custom Offsets. Another time we'll pick a different theme, a different theme, and a different theme. And then basically it'll go by likes. So it'll be, you guys get all your friends to come out to Custom Offsets on the um, contest page. We'll probably put it right on the front cover so it'll be here, and when you click on it, instead of going to t-shirt sales, it'll go to all the videos and tell you which wheel giveaway we're doing, and then you guys will vote for the videos. So what you'll be able to do is we'll make it where your video has its own link, and then you can drive your friends and family and everybody to your link to go vote for your video. Your submission page. Yep. Or whatever. it'll be your submission page. So you'll have a full page of your video, and maybe we'll let you do a little write-up so anything that you want to, oh no, it'd be theme driven. So they don't need to do a write up. Well, if they don't have a video description or whatever. Yep. Yep. So we'll, we'll work on the details when we're ready to rock and roll, which should be very soon. But I like where you guys went with this. Daryl said he has no friends. Daryl, you got no friends, bro. I'll, I'll vote for you. I got you, Daryl. And he's you. back in the lead too. Yeah, back in the lead. <laughs> Yeah, so Phil, if you want to know about wheel spacers, you can head out to YouTube. We get this question so often that we made a pile of videos. Go out to YouTube and type in custom offsets spacers. And it should pull up our custom offsets wheel spacer walkthrough, our shit I never knew, roll till the wheels fall off, and how to fix vibration, which we get into spacers as being an option for that. So all three videos will pop right up and you can go check those out. It should answer every question. If it doesn't, shoot us an email at info at customoffsets.com and tell us to make a video on whatever your question is because I obviously missed one. As far as safe, this should I never do roll until the wheels fall off will tell you about the safety of them. Fuller, can you drop that link of that YouTube video in the comments? Is he still with us or is he making sweet videos? He's making sweet videos. I feel like he still hears me. Fuller. He's on Tinder, bro. So he's gonna, oh, he's listening, I get it. 30 second delay. Oh. <laughs> so he's gonna drop this video in the comments and that'll tell you if we think they're safe. I run them all the time, I think they're very safe. I think spacers are stronger than your wheels. I think if you buy Bora, you'll have the hub-centric ring, 10.1 steel studs. You'll have a US made product that we trust. I think if you go and buy them on eBay and you get Japan, or Chinese cheap spacers off of eBay, your family could die or families all around you on the highway because I don't think they're safe and I see their studs snapping off all the time and I don't like them and I don't trust them and I won't sell them. We have one here and we keep it just to show people and it's in the showroom. 
It's far away. Oh, three A's. So here's the rule with the, so what I just talked about was mainly adapters, the ones that bolt on and they have the studs sticking out of them and then you bolt your wheel on them. I don't think I have one laying here. But um, that's an adapter. So a spacer, we usually tell people that three A's is about the, the, the limit that you want to go because once you put that three A's spacer on, you'll notice when you slide your wheel on and go to put the lug nut on that you're down to about um, seven or eight turns, seven or eight threads. You need at least that. So if you go up to a half inch, yes, so thank you, Kirk. So this is an adapter. This is a Bora adapter. You'll see it's got a hub centric ring and the whole video will talk you through this. This is a 10.1 steel stud and this is an American made heavy ass aluminum, aircraft aluminum spacer. I don't I never remember what the 10 or the uh, T1061. Yeah, whatever that means. It means it's really badass. This is a cheap crap on eBay that you get really good prices on. And this is what it looked like when Hector's entire wheel sheared off. And the only stud that remained went right through the side of his fuel wheel, so he needed new wheels too. This is exactly what happened because it doesn't have a hump centric ring. Half the time, it's not even the bore, it's oversized for the hub on the truck. So it's just slopping around until everything shakes, rattles, and peels off. So you'll see all that in the video. But for the spacers, like with my Silverado 1500, I was gonna run three ace and I talked to Bora and we agreed that I would get half inch and see how many threads I could get when I go to put it on. And it ended up being like seven or eight. So I was comfortable running that, but I knew I was right on the edge. Three ace typically is enough because you're getting enough thread. Now, if you're on an HD, you can do it all day because typically the HDs and Super Duties have like two, two inch studs. So you have plenty of room. It really comes down to which wheel you choose and then how long the studs are. So you want to put the spacer on, put the wheel on and make sure you've got enough thread. And if you want to test that, yes, Mr. Banker. If you're not comfortable, we got extended thread lug nuts. Yep. So if you did the half inch, and then you put it on and you only get like six turns on your lug nuts, you may be able to order uh, extended ET thread lug nuts, extended thread lug nuts, and you can find those on the internet or you can give us a holler and we should be able to get you a set. But what that is is it's got a collar on it and that collar actually goes inside the wheel and grabs three or four more threads so that you can run those. But, you know, is it ideal? No, I wouldn't use more than three ace because you're starting to run out of thread. But um, yeah, spacers are super common in the car world. So as long as you have enough thread, that's my final answer to my really long winded, just go watch the video answer. People want to know if you have any big sales during tax season. Heck yeah, we always have a big sale. I don't know if you've been on custom offsets, but we just did a study of how our wheel and tire prices compared to everybody else out there on the Facebook and the YouTube and the Instagram. And guess what? We beat everybody by two, three, four hundred dollars a package. So the best thing you can ever do is come out to custom offsets, find your wheels. I'm always gonna do 20 by 14s. Just cause I do, I don't know why. 22s. And you find yourself some hostiles and you hit go. Ideally, you'd look up your bolt pattern so that you don't get all excited and then realize that they're back ordered in your bolt pattern. You find your wheels. So these wheels are 1733 shipped to your door. But if you package them with tires, you can save up to 475 bucks. So once you grab those and you grab add tires and then switch to some 33s, because we know that that's what we're doing for the gram by 12 and a half. You can add Federal Carages for $353. That's for all four tires mounted, balanced, and shipped for free. So when you, you can add some Aturos, you could even go add some Toyo Open Country RTs for only $894. So you're looking at 26, 26 for that complete package, 20 by 14s and 35, 12 and a half. Get some nice stretched out tires that you know, the Walmart meet with. So <laughs> my point is you, you can't beat that price. So the reason we never have sales is because we never rip you off. If we were ripping you off all the time, then we could offer you a sale later. But instead, you always get the lowest price. This is like one of them car dealerships that's no haggle, no hassle. You're just going to always get the best price. And if you can't swing it right now, you always have a firm. So what a firm is, is it's, I believe it's the um, inventors of PayPal, sold PayPal, and then they went out and created a firm. 
which it, it's super badass because it just works really well. You know within like 60 seconds if you're approved. And then what they do is they just spread your payments out and then they do like 20, I think it's like 20 to 30% interest. Now that being said, I don't know if I'd advise all of America to finance over 12 months for 30% interest because that's, that's not the American dream. You're gonna do it anyways, but that's not the American dream. But what you could do is you could go finance those right now and when your tax return comes in 30 days, you could pull that, pay that entire balance off and then you won't have to pay any additional interest. So you'd only basically have one month where you're paying the interest. So that would be your way to get these before tax checks come out and everybody buys all of them and it goes all back order. So really long story short, we have a sale every single day and yes, it'll continue through tax season. Nailed it. And by the way, that shipping is free, mounting and balancing is free. Lug nuts are only like 40 bucks or something. I don't know how much they are. I'm gonna go look. I'm gonna go look because I don't like to lie. So, if I was buying just wheels, TPMS I can get for only 179 bucks. That's all four already installed. And then lug nuts I can get for 45 bucks for the entire truck. If you go to a local um, parts store, you're gonna pay about $90 for those same lug nuts. You can get chrome, black, locking kits, same price. You can get spike lug nuts, 179 bucks for the whole set. And I believe these are all eight lug. Yeah, that was eight lug pricing. I think six lug is like 159 for spike lug nuts. But I wouldn't put them on here because you aren't gonna see them. You will see them, you just won't get your caps on. And if you buy now. <laughs> <laughs> well, wait. I feel like I'm on the old shopping network because we're five minutes past. Junior's uh, bedtime. So we gotta get Junior to sleep here. His mom's gonna start calling at what's your permission slip say? Seven, you gotta hold me seven? <laughs> so hopefully you guys had fun. I know we did, we gave away a bunch of stuff. Did we ever get to 100? Didn't make her? Nope. I heard 72 at one point. So you guys got close. Next week, share this. I'll tell you what. Did we get up to 80? Up to 80? Yeah. I'm starting to uh, run out of energy as far as wheel it fit, but we'll definitely do it again next week because I want to see you guys get to 100 and give away a painted wheel kit. And if that's the last time we do wheel it fit or go to maybe a monthly, maybe we could do the first Wednesday of every month mm -hmm. so that people know when it is on the first of the month. So we'll do that and um, let's get us up to 100. Make sure you share this and get out here and try to win a free custom offsets by Killer Wax wheel shine kit for floss, flossing or painted wheels. Peace.